Hello everybody and welcome back here to our Blythe Spartans FM 22 series. We are back for episode number three now and we have our first game in the FA Cup. That'll be our second game in today's episode taking on Potter's Barn but to kick off the episode we are taking on rivals Darlington a 9th versus 10th place matchup here in the Vanarama National North. But of course, before we jump into that, here is how we got on since the last time you saw us. So after that opening day defeat, we got our first point of the season. A nil a nil away draw against Kidderminster. Another game that we, we edged out the opponent, but we just couldn't find a way to get the goal. But that all changed in the next game with a 2-0 victory over Telford. Sean Reed and Lewis McNall got our two second half goals. Telford did have a player sent off in that second half. Got himself two yellow cards and he took an early bath because of that. Unfortunately, we followed that up with a 1-2 defeat against Farsley Celtic. We actually opened up the scoring. Jamie Clark got the goal in the 23rd minute, but two second half goals from Farsley saw them pick up all three points. Then the latest game, a 2-0 victory over Brackley. Clark and Buttle got our goals in that game. So here is how the league table is looking. We've played five games, two wins, one draw, two losses. That puts us on 7 points and sees us sitting in ninth place in the table. Just a few points back from the playoff spots and only 4 points back from the league leaders, our rivals, Gateshead. So a pretty decent start to the season. We've been in every game that we've played so far. So I'm thinking we're going to have a pretty decent season this year. Is that going to be enough to get us promoted? Uh, that, that'll be a bit tough. But I think we're going to have a nice first season in this series. And that's all we can really ask for as we look to build our team. So switching over here to the team that is going to be taking on Darlington. Everdix is out injured. He's actually returned to training. But not quite fit enough to make the bench. So that sees Hickey starting in place of him. And we kind of just rotated the midfield. So... Sean Reed is going to be the deep line playmaker today. Brown Sword is starting at center back in place of Toby Lees. Think Brownsword and Buttle are my two first choices. And Thompson has been out with an injury, so Jamie Clark has been starting out on the right hand side. And he's been doing very, very good. Much better than Thompson. So Clark is going to continue to keep his place until. He shows me he shouldn't be starting anymore. So this is the team. Let's go ahead and get this one underway. At home, taking on Darlington. Come on, the Spartans. First highlight, we're going to have a throw in here. Working it down this right-hand side. We play it over to Reed. Back to our center back, Buttle. Picks out McGuire. Over to Dale, who picks out Jamie Clark. What a strike. Wow, Robbie Dale with the cross, Jamie Clark on the volley. What an incredible strike. Early goal of the season contender, Jamie Clark have a bow. Non-league, whipping out a banger like that. That is top, top stuff right there. 1-0 and we have another highlight. We're on the ball, bringing it out of defense. Brian on the right hand side, up to Jamie Clark. Oh, he was looking for the return pass to Hickey, but we are still on the ball. Looking for an option, and Robbie Dale curls that around the keeper. Is he going to get called for offsides? He is. Man. Had to ruin it there with that offside, but that was another good goal. But we have to defend this opportunity from Darlington now. Wow, okay. <laughs> it is a game of uh, amazing goals, apparently. 
and we haven't even made it 20 minutes into the game yet. Brandon Taylor, I believe, is their right back, and he just pulls this out of nowhere. God damn! Wow, okay. This game has a lot to live up to with those two first goals, but we have another highlight, and we are on the ball once again. Brown Sword and Buttle playing it around defense. Surely nothing can go wrong with that, but we have James... Jamie O'Donnell, no, it's J.J. O'Donnell with an opportunity, and it eventually gets recycled, and Jamie Clark is there for his second goal of the game, and this is what I was saying. Jamie Clark has been on fire, and he deserves to start, and long may it continue. O'Donnell had an opportunity saved. I believe Dale made it out on that right-hand side to pick up the ball, cycled it back over, Jamie Clark, 2-1, crazy game we are seeing so far. Another highlight, we are on the ball once again. Can we get goal number three before halftime? Just a few moments left in the first half. Brian on this right-hand side looking for a crossing opportunity, and he picks out Dan McGuire for his first goal of the season. Hopefully this will get him firing. What a great ball in by our right back, Carl Brian. And Dan McGuire knew where he had to be. Gets a nice, easy goal. 3-1. What a performance from the boys out there this first half. Darlington got their one opportunity. Well, they have two shots now. They score a wonder goal, but we have been absolutely dominating them here. 3-1. Let's just continue this here in the second half. And we'll have three points heading into our FA Cup game. We got our first highlight here in the second half. Ball just evades Jamie Clark and Darlington. Looking to get back in the game. If they score a goal, it'll just be a one-goal game. And there would be plenty of time left in this game for them to find another one. So let's not let them do that here, boys. What are we doing? That defense was very, very poor. And another great goal by Darlington. Okay, come on, guys. That's that's just not good defending at all. Keeper Mitchell got some questions about that goal. Okay, we got another highlight and Darlington are on it once again. What are we doing out here, guys? Great job by a little reading that. Calmly plays it back to the keeper. Find our uh, another goal here to restore our two goal lead. Brown Sword bringing out a defense, playing it long towards McGuire. Gets cut out, but we win the ball back, and then McGuire passes it straight to Darlington. Now they play it forward. Long ball from their keeper. Oh, wow. Buttle with an important interception there. Out for a corner. It's whipped in. Brown Sword heads it away. Danger is not over yet. Brian kicks it out for another corner. Darlington bringing the pressure. Okay, cool. Now they have a free kick, and that is a goal. Oh, they're going to get called for offside, but I do not like what I'm seeing here. We're going to make a substitution or two. What do we want to do? I think we want to bring on McNall for O'Donnell. And we're going to bring on Toby Lees for Buttle. Those will be two substitutions that we want to do now. We'll hold on to our third one. But I need to see more from our team here. Darlington bringing the heavy pressure at the moment. Final substitution. We're going to bring on Painter for Reed. About 13 minutes left of the game plus additional time. Just that one goal lead. Come on, boys. Got another highlight here. Playing it out from a goal kick or a free kick. What can we do with it? Another long ball up towards McGuire. That he was not going to win. And now we are under pressure. Great interception by Brownsword. Calmly intercepting it and playing it out. 
what can we do with this opportunity? Whip it in McNall. He was looking for McGuire. It just was not a great ball in. Now we're bringing it forward with Brian. Already has an assist on the day. Looking for number two. He got it to McGuire. Oh my gosh. McNall blazing that one with a perfect opportunity for our fourth goal. And he just absolutely blazes that wide. But that was better from us here. And now we have Clark on this right-hand side. He has a poor ball in. Oh, I do not like what I'm seeing right here. What a save by Mitchell. Okay. Okay. Wow, what a save. We need to... Tell them to stop attacking here. And while we're in possession, we want to time waste as much as we can. Come on, boys. Did not like what I just saw there, but we have a corner. A little to whip it in. Gets cleared away. Probably should have let that go out for a throw in. Waste more time. Oh! Who was that? McNall? McGuire? One of them. Had a heading opportunity. They headed off the post. Darlington bringing it forward. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, Unbelievable. We have thrown away a two goal lead against our rivals. Wow. Not acceptable. I mean, we dominated them there that first half. Second half, we let them back into the game. And fair play to them, they capitalized on it. But wow, I did not like what I saw here in that second half. And I'm going to let the team know that. That was not acceptable. Our standards dropped. And we paid the price. Okay, before we take on Potter's Bar, here is a look at the league table. After that draw, we still sit in ninth place. But still, that is a disappointing result considering the position we held in that game. Moving over here now to our team selection to take on Potter's Bar. Alex Curran comes in at goal. Reese Evan comes in at right back. Toby Lees at center back. Deborah Dix returned from injury. And we have McGowan in for Robbie Dale on that left side. We should be getting the victory here today. We are away. And you know cup ties are always tricky. So we can't go out there and play like we did in the second half of our last game. So let's go out there. Get the victory and move on. Come on the Spartans. Ooh, early highlight here. We are on the ball. What can we do? Working it around midfield right now. Going up to McGuire. Over to Reed who picks out Clark. And there he is, the man on fire himself. Jamie Clark. Making it 1-0. Just two minutes into the game. Great finish by Jamie Clark. Off to a fire here in this game. Reed. Seeing the run Clark was looking to make. Picks him out. Easy as you come. Let's go. Another highlight here. This time Potter's Bar. On the ball. Looking to play it over the top. But Lee cuts that out. Now we're looking to counterattack him here. Not quite picking out Jamie Clark this time. We've won the ball back off of that. Goalkeeper. Pass attempt. Reese on this right hand side picking out Clark. Oh, he tried to play it back to uh, Reese Evans. It gets cut out. Still working it down this right hand side, looking for a way in. We play it down the middle. And Jamie Clark, wow. Another great goal by Jamie Clark, curling that in to the upper 90, making it 2 0 here. Dan McGuire might not be getting goals, but he got an assist here. What a finish by Jamie Clark. Beautiful stuff. 2-0, 20 minutes gone. That is what we like to see. We have a corner to defend, though. Oh, we did not defend that well, but thankfully that header hits the crossbar. 
And we do survive. We're going straight into another highlight. Down this right-hand side, once again, Evans. Can you whip it across? Yes, he's looking for McGuire, and he somehow gets that. Making it 3-0. McGuire getting his second goal on the year. Evans, great ball in. Thought that was going to get cut out, but somehow McGuire was able to get his foot to it first. Squeezing it in there, 3 0. Let's freaking go. And another highlight. We were uh, looking to play it forward. It gets cut out by their defense. They're looking to get back in this game. What can they do with it here? Looking for options. Patient build up play here by Potter's Bar. Now they played over the top. That is a great ball in, and that was a real opportunity. Thankfully, that goes just wide of Curran's post, but we got to get our focus back here. They are on the ball once again. It's cut out by McGowan, looking to break here. Played out to this right-hand side. Evans now bringing it forward, looking for another assist here. He crosses that as a far cross to McGowan. But he plays it back in the box. And J.J. O'Donnell is there. 4-0 to the Spartans. What a first half we are witnessing here today. McGowan just playing it back in the middle. And J.J. O'Donnell finishing that 4-0. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And that is how we go into halftime here. 4-0 Potter's Bar. Their stats are not bad at all. But we have been clinical in front of goal today, notching four first half goals. Let's not have a second half collapse this time. Let's be professional, see out the game, and move on to the next round of the FA Cup. Well, we have a second half highlight here. It's a corner for the Spartans, and it is headed in, but the keeper claims that it was pretty much right to him. But we are back on the attack here. What can we do with it? O'Donnell on this left-hand side. Looking to cross it and he plays it back to Painter. Picks out Evans. Back to O'Donnell. Back to Evans. Painter picking up that loose ball. Ooh, Reed having a shot. And that was a good opportunity. Keeper saves that out for another corner. Brian whips it in. And Buttle heads it over. And the full-time whistle has been blown. A quiet second half, but a dominating first half performance sees the Spartans get a 4-0 victory. And we move on to the next round of the FA Cup. We'll get a little bit of money here for the win, which is always a nice little bonus. That was a great performance that I was hoping to see. Absolutely lovely, lovely stuff there. But that is where this episode is going to come to an end. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. So you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.